So there are two ways in which I record or I select videos to record on the channel for the reaction videos. And I thought I'll take a couple of seconds to just talk to you about those two ways. The first one, which is what you've probably seen a lot more, where a lot of the videos where I do to reaction to Ethiopian videos or geography now videos fall. So that first class of things is videos that I do that people like to see and I think are interesting to other people. Like I really, in these videos, I'm thinking like, oh, if I saw somebody reacting to videos as, as a Cameroonian, how would that make me feel? So it's much more entertaining for somebody who is not me, right? So a lot of the videos that I do fall in a particular class, which is I know it's going to be entertaining to somebody else. And then there's a second kind of video, which is what the video you're about to watch is about, which is where it's very selfish. It's me. I find the video very interesting. I want to do it because I need the video. And this particular video is called, actually it's titled, You Don't Need Inspiration. And it's by Cordy. And if you've already watched my first reaction video on Cordy, you know I love her content and I love her. And so this video was done on February 7th. Cool. This was one day before my birthday this year. So that's actually, I didn't, I didn't even notice that. That's why I, I had a moment to like, wait, actually, she put up the video the day before my birthday. And so I've already watched this video. I've already watched the video. I really liked it. It's been a while since I watched it. And I'm in need of inspiration right now. And also in need of her kind of content because before I chose this video, if you don't know, the whole month of April, I did not upload any reaction videos. So I've been dealing with a lot of personal things that I had to go through. And I gave myself a timeline. I said, you know what, Kamga, it's completely fine to deal with what you're dealing with, but you have to be done by the end of April. Not like done, done. More like you have to start taking action towards your goals by the end of April. So this is May 1st. I'm filming this and I'm going to upload this today. So I've already made a date timestamp in the video. So this is May 1st. If you're watching this, I was successful. I got my second COVID shot, so my arm hurts, which sucks because I tend to speak a lot like this, and then I'm not going to be doing that a lot in the video today. So let's get into the video. Sometimes people think I'm so smart, but I'm actually so lazy. I'm so lazy because if I wasn't lazy, I wouldn't be doing my videos a day before I need to post them. All right, I know you complain a lot about the fact that I interrupt a lot of videos. It's just that whenever I watch Cordy, I remember why I liked her content in the first place. So I'm going to try as much as possible not to interrupt anymore. It's just this intro scene gives you, sets the pace for what the video is going to be about. The title, the thumbnail, the intro. This is like nine seconds and you're already aware that she's struggling with something. And like every good hero in the hero's journey story will figure it out hopefully by the end of it. Right, so let's do it. So there's something called flow. When you're doing work and everything seems to just go right, you forget your phone, you forget that you've not, not eaten sometimes, or maybe you haven't eaten, but like, you're just so focused on the work and you enjoy it in that moment so much. That thing is called flow. And I just figured that it doesn't actually happen to a lot of people that often, but it happens to me a lot, a lot. I'm making a video and I forget everything because I'm enjoying it so much, so much. So, so it also made me think like, for people who don't get that flow feeling, that feeling where like, you are so immersed in your work, you can see everything clearly and you just want to do it. For people who don't get that feeling all the time, they need discipline. I love it whenever she does one of these. And there's going to be an ad. And one of the personal rules that I'm making for myself now is that I don't skip ads for the people that I really want that they should win on YouTube. It's, I don't know, maybe we want to jump out of it now because this is happening, but hey. Whoa, you've got on $68. So what we're going to do is while the ad is playing, we're going to sit here and have a chat about Cordy. And if you haven't watched her other video, I'm going to put a link in the description somewhere here. You'll be far away. So you'll be able to click and find it and see it and watch the first video that I did. And she liked it so much that she actually shared it. So let's watch her ads. And I don't know how long we'll be able to keep it. <laughs> but but I personally feel as someone whose channel is monetized that if I am skipping my people's ads, then why would you want to watch my ads? So make your choice. I'm not forcing you to watch ads. But please do. <laughs> yeah. This particular ad, I mean, look at this guy. Okay, this has nothing to do with Cordy V, but look at this guy. This guy, has, I've watched so many of these particular ads, and this guy is doing an ad for, you know, a supplement for the gym. And I'm like, I don't look like this guy will inspire me to get the supplement for the gym, but that's not the point of this video. So let's let's get back to the video that we're watching right now. 
right? Let's do it. Correction or regulation of oneself for the sake of improvement. Okay. We need discipline. Since I told myself that I'm going to be posting videos on YouTube every Saturday, I have made it my priority to never miss a Saturday. What happens is on Monday I get, I, I know what I want to do because I probably filmed something the week before. On Tuesday I start to edit the video. On Wednesday I probably be like, oh my god, I don't really like where this is going. There's not what I had in my head. On Thursday I start to aggressively. <laughs> oh man, like. Let me let me let me finish this sequence first. I have something that just came up in my like whole sequence. I just remember what I loved about this particular video when I watched it was her ability to capture the frustration of creation. If you have a creative friend, I said I will finish the sequence first. Let's finish the sequence and talk about it. All right. I think of ideas, and I probably find that most times I find ideas, and then I film on Thursday, edit through on Friday, and by Saturday morning it's ready. But that's not a sustainable pattern because it means that on Thursday I have to wait to get some form of inspiration, wait to do something, I have to really dig deep into my brain, and that's a problem. And I notice that most people, most creative people, will wait to do something. Is it me or is it a little bit too loud? I don't think it's me. I think it's a little bit loud. But then this was done like months ago. So I have very strong feeling that Cordy has 10 x her skill. So she'll probably notice this and be like, yeah, that was a little bit too loud. Because that's the kind of person, the kind of vibe that I get from her. Like kind of person who wants to improve and keep getting better and better. So I'm not even worried to point it out because she'll probably be like, yeah, I noticed it as well. Or maybe that was the intention. I don't know. What I lack is discipline. I lack discipline because if I was disciplined, that video that I wanted to do on Monday, I would have finished it by Wednesday. So I would have space to even create new stuff by Thursday, I maybe even have double to post or something for next week that I don't have to worry about. But I don't really have sense. I don't really think <laughs> with my brain. You know, I think with my heart. And that's the problem. I need to start thinking with my brain. I need to start thinking with my brain. Because when you think with your heart, it's good. It's good. The output is amazing. But sometimes, your heart can decide to just be resting. But your brain is always active. Do you get? So if I tell myself, look, Cotty, this is what you want to do. Finish it whether or not you are enjoying it. Because sometimes when you actually start the work, right, halfway through is when you start to enjoy it. I told myself at the start of this week. Yeah, like before she goes to the next, and I just need to say this. This particular video, for example, right, I have a long list of videos that I was hoping to record. Uh, one particular one is the, what, uh, a review of the Ashanti, the Ashanti tribe of Ghana, right? I started watching the video and I was like, I don't have the kind of energy to do this particular video. And I wanted to pick like a low hanging fruit, like a video that I want, which is why I started this video explaining to you why I chose this particular video because I needed it. And so what I did was I tricked myself to still do the work that I was going to do anyway, but do it at a time that actually works for me. And so when she's talking about the idea that you start enjoying the work in the middle, even when I chose this video, right? This is, I don't know how many minutes this particular video is recording right now, but even when I chose this video, it's when I started getting to the, this is like a three minute mark that I started enjoying it. So this is not even something, this is what, what I love about Cordy and people like her, which I've noticed is that she's not quoting like, you know, research. The idea of flow, for example, comes from, there's a book literally called Flow, where the whole idea of athletes and, you know, experts, violinists, pianists, people who get into that zone, the zone, right? And if you watch anime, you know what the zone is in Kurokuno Basket. Please let me know in the comment section if you're an anime fan. I would love to connect with you. But, that particular idea, I've lost my train of thought, so we'll just watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> Happens a lot. This is why I should not stay away from your work on YouTube. Just keep being consistent. But yeah, she was talking about flow and talking about discipline and how your heart and your brain, because for me, when I was doing this, picking this video, I did not feel in my heart that I was inspired 
funny enough, that's a video is, you don't need inspiration. That I had it, had it in me to make the video. But I thought and knew like, all right, come guy, you need to do this. Come guy, you need to get onto this now. Doesn't matter. And then now I'm getting into it and I'm remembering why I love her content. Like I'm getting flashbacks to the previous videos that I made. So this is this is really nice to have someone. Let's just watch the video. Victor, you know what? This is fair. Way through is when you start to enjoy it. I told myself at the start of this week that, you know what, this is February. This is a new month. I don't want to do what I did in January. I want to clear out all the unedited videos I have in my computer. So on Monday, I started to like plan all the videos I need to edit. And I told myself, you know what, this month I'm going to try to put out two videos per week. I was doing, on Monday, I was doing very well. I planned everything. I, I did everything I wanted to do. Um, and then something happened on Tuesday. I woke up and I got an email that kind of it knocked me off. <laughs> it knocked me off so bad. I was really sad. Um, and it just became hard to... This is a great example of how music affects the mood because she could have said the same thing without music. But those tones, I'm not a music expert. Can somebody please let me know? You know, there's probably a term for that, like the the notes that depict sadness. Like the way I pick music when I actually want to edit videos and not just do reaction videos is that I have to feel the song. And what she's talking about, the email and knocking her off, the music matches. And I find a lot of people, I'm, I'm digressing, a lot of people don't know how to do that. I feel like it's both a skill and a talent and it can be developed. Like every talent can be developed into a skill. But I just want to point out that the beauty of Cordy's editing, which is like, this is old Cordy. I can't even wait to see new Cordy. Is her ability to be able to tell the story and use all the elements, the editing, the images, the music, her, her own pacing. Like she's basically thinking out loud and sharing her, her prospect. And I'm wondering how, how many hours of footage she had before she had to extract this particular one. And I keep saying this because she gives up the vibe of someone who is always on the improvement treadmill. So I'm I'm not even worried about the quality right now because I'm like, I, be, I, I am very confident that if I watch her most recent video, she's going to blow my mind away again with how much she's improved from this particular one. So if you haven't subscribed to Cordy's channel, if you haven't subscribed to Cordy's channel and you don't understand why I'm in love with her content, go and check her content out, seriously. Check it out. If you don't understand what it is, because some comments of people want to say, I don't get it, I don't understand. Let's have a conversation because these are gems that I think the internet is yet to discover. And I feel like she hasn't even started. I know I said this before and I'm saying it again. She hasn't even started. So let's go. Get off my bed. and It just became hard to get off my bed and continue with the energy I had on Monday and I was like I can't do this I can't do this so normally when I'm when things that are out of my control happen um, I usually disappear um, and I was on the verge of doing that I was about to do that I was like nope no I have made a decision to practice discipline to follow my plan now this thing that happened to me am i worried about it yes do i feel like there might be no solution yes do i feel like it might mess up a a heavy part of my progress yes am i going to continue yes but sometimes you need to tell yourself look i'm seeing this too whether or not i'm enjoying it i stood up with tears in my eyes i was still crying and then i stood up and I continued editing my video. I was editing this video, cutting video with tears. Like, oh my god, oh my god. Why me? Cut, cut. Why me? Move, move. Why me? Color grade, color grade. Like, I was still doing all of that. Obviously, there's some things that if you start and you see it's not working out, and you try over and over, you feel like there's actually no point to this thing again, then you stop. It's crazy because for some people, it's so easy. Ty and I not drops like three videos a week. This sometimes it drops every, every day. The guy is a beast, <laughs> you know. I am. If you haven't watched my reaction to Tayo, uh, uh, Tayo I know's video, I did one where he did an interview with an entrepreneur, a real estate entrepreneur in, in Nigeria. You should check it. I'm going to add the link <laughs> somewhere there in the description section. <laughs> so he's a beast, man. It's it's if you've ever tried to create videos, right? 
if you ever try to make any kind of content, I, I don't know just about video, even articles, writing on Medium, doing a podcast, like when you see people who consistently create good and even great quality content on a regular basis in huge quantities, and by huge, I mean like, you know, daily or twice a week or three times a week. Sometimes you don't know where they came from, right? There's some people who you're like, okay, you find out that they're doing this, but they've been doing this for years. The other people who show up and they just keep like, what the hell, bro? Like, why are you so good and consistent? So yeah, when 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 you find someone who's a beast like that, <laughs> it sucks to be on the other side of the glass. Let me relax and enjoy my process. But sometimes, you know, I am... The guy is a beast, you know, I am, let me relax and enjoy my process. But sometimes, it's not everything you enjoy in this life. That's just how life is. You can't enjoy everything, and that's the reality of things. So the, the, the faster you realize that, look, I need to know when to be hard on myself, the better it is for everybody, including you. More than inspiration, more than looking for, oh, how to get inspired, to get up and work. All you need is discipline. And I know it's very easy to say, oh, you need discipline, so go and get discipline. But it's not that easy. It takes hard work. It takes practice. I'm still practicing, you know. And sometimes you get tired of being disciplined. That's okay. If you work for, like, if you plan, okay, today I want to finish this video. And you work for a few hours. You do the video right. You don't finish it. And this could be your drawing, your schoolwork, whatever it is. You don't finish the, what you're working on. Um, I just noticed that this is the second video I'm doing, so I haven't checked the recent videos to check it out. But she hardly looks at the camera for long enough. I, I'm not, maybe I'm just, I need to probably measure this to see. But I noticed this is a very interesting look because she's talking to us, right? She's talking to you, the, the person. And when there's this idea, I can even expand on this a little bit. Because the video is about to end. There's this idea that, uh, you know, for example, take the African culture, right? Most of us back in Cameroon, probably, I don't know about Nigeria, but when you're speaking to your elders, looking at them in the eyes is disrespectful, is that you're trying to be rude and arrogant and stand your ground. In other countries, including the US, look at someone in the eyes, sign of respect, sign of, um, you know, attention. And so this, her, her stands right now just got me thinking about the fact that normally I would feel disrespect, like, why are you not looking at me? Or somebody would feel disrespect. I don't know now whether I'm not feeling that because I am Cameroonian. Even though I actually look at people in the eyes, I talk a lot more directly in the eyes. It's just a thing that I feel like I do more, not just because of Cameroon or America or whatever. But in this particular case, I don't feel like she's running away. It's more like she doesn't want... She's sharing truth, but she's um, reserved about it. So she she's giving you like, hey, I'm going to tell you how I feel. But I'm not going to look at you while I tell you because I feel vulnerable right now. So please, it's okay. Just listen. I know I'm probably adding things here that are not existing. Bear with me. I like to interpret things, even the uninterpretable. Is that even a word? But anyway, I'm looking here and just noticing that she doesn't look at the camera as much. Maybe in a new video she does. But it's just something that I just picked up and I thought I'll bounce on that a little bit. So uh, let's uh, carry on. You feel like, oh my god, I'm sleepy. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. Make sure that when you feel you don't finish the, what you're working on. Um, you feel like, oh my god, I'm sleepy. Go and sleep. Go and sleep. <laughs> Make sure that when you wake up, you are going back to continue the work. Go with your flow. Like, just go with this. You cannot wait for this one time when I feel so much. Everything is clear in my head. I know exactly what to do. Sometimes, just move with it. I think what I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, you don't need to wait for inspiration. You don't need to wait for someone to tell you, do this. Or you, don't, you don't need to wait to go somewhere and feel something so strongly in your heart. Get up and do. You need to be able to talk to yourself when you need to. These are the difficult things, but you need to learn to do it. I'm still learning to do it. I can't keep being inefficient in my work because if I plan to take this seriously, I, if I was working at a company and they say, oh, you need to deliver this by Friday, I need to deliver by Friday. I will deliver by Friday, so I need to put that same effort into my own work. There's so much to be done, man. So much. So little time. It's 24 hours in the whole day. So annoyed that I just realized I could do this. Stupid bit. 
That's basically it. You need discipline more than you need inspiration. The world is moving fast and you need to move with it. Goodbye. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That on the screen right there, this is the first video that I reacted to for Cordy, and it's interesting that it's a video that is recommended. I don't know if it's the main video I was recommended here, but um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool that that's a video that I had watched and a video that I liked, and then, you know, it's recommended. You know, in the beginning of this video, I told you that I picked this video because I needed it. And I spent a lot of time on YouTube watching videos ranging from different topics. Sometimes I go into some dark places that if you watch my search history, you think that I'm trying to i don't know create something that we should not talk about but something that cordy said here is something that we could debate for years like you need discipline or you need inspiration someone will come and tell you like you can be disciplined you can be orderly you can have structure but you will not have to you don't have inspiration right you can have i mean you probably know people in your life who are very organized but they are very regular like they might even consider themselves that they are not creative they don't create anything they don't write they don't make movies they don't do anything and they have other people who call themselves who call themselves creatives like they're always inspired they're always having ideas they're always drawing flowers doing poetry doing cool things like generally they, you know they're exciting to be around but they're not the kind of people that you can count on to have you know structured disciplined lives and i think a lot of what she said, right, about not needing inspiration doesn't negate the need for inspiration. Because there's some new statements that people say, you know, like you need, she said you need more discipline and inspiration. I don't know if I actually agree entirely. I feel like I'm trying to defend what she said. I think we need a balance depending on who we are. Unlike everything in life, we can talk at, 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 at nauseum to, to figure out what is the right thing to do. But it's about finding that balance because when I, I know myself that inspiration is not my problem. I can get inspired at any time. Like, if you know who you are, you know what triggers you. I know, for example, for a fact now, especially recently, that if I want to write, I just need to turn on a lo-fi, chill-pop music playlist and just sit there and the thing will come. Like, my fingers will just want to move. There's something about lo-fi music that just gets me to want to express myself creatively. I don't know what it is. Probably some science behind there. And so, I'm trying to not take her title at face value. Like, you don't need inspiration. Her content, the way she expressed it, you know, she... She starts on Monday. Tuesday, she's still working it. By the time it's Saturday, which is her deadline, she's still trying to get this video out there. She hasn't done it. And something happened and she felt, you know, like she couldn't continue and she pushed herself. And I think that's what's cool about Cordy's video is the idea that you don't need inspiration to carry on when what you need is discipline. I think you need both. I don't think one is more than the other. I feel like you can be very disciplined and create nothing of value because there's no beauty in it. There's no inspiration in it. There's no there's no new connection. There's no interconnectivity of things. You can you can sit and write an essay that is just I went to the market. This is what happened, but you know to create works that inspire others like what she just did. I feel like you need inspiration, but somebody in the comment section gave the quote there. I think let me check here. It was Pablo Picasso. Let me just share the screen so you can see the quote. It's not my quote. It's from Blessings. Blessings said, Inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. And as I was watching the video and listening, I was thinking about uh, a writer, actually two writers, Stephen Pressfield and um, Scott Adams. Stephen Pressfield wrote two, I think, many seminal books. and But the, the two that come to my mind a lot when it comes to the idea of being a creative, being a writer, actually the three. The first one is... is uh, can I say resistance? The Art of War. I've done a review on the channel. 
I will not put a link. Check it out. <laughs> the art of the art of war. Sorry, the war of art, not the art of war. The war of art. And in the war of art, the big idea of the war of art is the idea of resistance. Is that? And I'm going to end this video on this note because I could talk for. <laughs> I feel like I haven't talked so much. I'm trying to talk about everything in this one video, but there will be more videos. Resistance is a non-partial power that exists to stop you from being your true self. You can call it, I don't know, the devil. You can call it whatever it is. Actually, you may not. Resistance doesn't care about your feelings, my feelings. Resistance is there to stop you from doing the thing that you're supposed to do. So, resistance is what makes you want to stay in bed in the morning. It's not It's not the feeling. It's the, it's the idea like, hey, let me just rest here for a bit. And then you blink and it's been two hours and you're late for work. Resistance is, I don't think my idea is a good enough idea. So, you bottle it down. Resistance is even finding a job so that you don't have to work on your creative work. Resistance is arguments with your spouse about crazy things. Read The War of Art. If you are a writer, creative person, if you haven't read it, read it. I reread the book and I try to really understand the battle that as a creative you're going against. And this video, what I think what Cordy really captured here is the idea that there will be days that you will not want to make things. There will be days that you're not feeling inspired. There will be days that you want to just sleep and cry and just complain about everything. Yet, on those same days, you still have to make way and create. It doesn't matter how you feel. And with that, I 100% agree that in those moments, you need discipline. You need structure more than you need inspiration. So, yeah. I really love the video. Cody, thank you again for making something this amazing. I haven't checked out your recent videos if you're watching this. And uh, for those of us who love Cody, I think you should check out her content. Let me know if she's, you know, and they say improved, evolved, not improved, because I know she'll always be improving. If she's evolved. And uh, I really missed making these videos, honestly. The whole month of April, I couldn't. And I've still had people subscribing to the channel, leaving comments. I'm so sorry I haven't responded to the comments. I, I made a promise in video to respond to all comments. But it's getting to that point where I don't know if I will be able to, but I will start doing them again. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Kamga. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you might want to consider doing that. And if you want to go a step further and support the channel so I can get more gear and make cool videos, uh, I have a Patreon. The link is right in the description. And in the first comment, you'll find a link there. You can go and support me from as little as $3 every month. You help this boy get you better content, all right? So, uh, Cordy, thank you again for the video. Thank you for watching up to this particular point. I know you have a long day and things to do and my arm hurts. <laughs> so, um, in the meantime, you know what I'm going to remind you about, right? You know you know, you know know what I'm going to say. I'm biding time because I forgot to myself, but do your best and let God take up the rest. And always remember that while there's life, there's hope. Yeah. I will see you in the next video.